How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to be talking about noise gates and more specifically noise gates on guitars because they are mostly found on guitars. They are in some other instances found on other tracks besides uh, guitar tracks but uh, I, I have never used them. Okay, I'm going to just put that out there. So mostly on guitar tracks and we will find out why in a second once I start explaining. Okay, so a noise gate has a couple main components, and that's going to be a threshold, a attack, and a release, and a hold. Okay, that threshold, and basically the idea of a noise gate is you set a threshold, and any volume from that signal under that threshold will be completely reduced. Um, which is very, very nice, especially for buzzing guitars. So we can set that threshold above the buzzing but below the threshold at which the guitar plays so that it will f if a f it will effectively cut out all the buzzing while the guitar is not being played which is perfect and that's why it's found on all guitar tracks basically all right so we can open up the noise gate here inside of logic it is found in the dynamics and then down at noise gate and here we are so as you can see there is that threshold and what this logic plugin offers is a reduction. So we can set the amount of reduction that happens when that volume or when the signal is below the threshold, which is very nice. Okay, and then we have an attack and a release. Now the attack and release is how long it takes for the reduction to set in. And in the case of a guitar, you want that attack and release to set very low because you want to that signal to be reduced right after you stop playing and right and you don't want it to be compressed right right when you start playing okay so attack and release needs to be very very low okay all right awesome and it has a bunch of other cool things like high cut low cut look ahead um, all kinds of things that I'm not really gonna worry about in this tutorial all right so let's focus on this section up here all right so we have this guitar track I have my guitar hooked in I'm going to press record on this and the basic idea is to setting a correct threshold on your guitar is to decrease this threshold until you can hear the buzzing of the guitar. You want to set the threshold just above the buzzing because you want to allow noise to come through that uh, is anything above that buzzing. So let's do that right now. All right, so about 66 was when the negative 66 decibels was when that actually started to buzz. So I'm going to set it about 60. We'll call that good. And let's play the guitar and see if it actually does what it is supposed to. And as you can see that when I stop playing, it buzzed a little bit after that. That just means if your attack and release is low already, to increase the threshold just a little bit more. Alright, so that did a decent job at cutting out the buzz. Let's bypass this and see what happens when there is no noise gate. So you can definitely tell that that buzz is being reduced by this noise gate. Alright, so that is really all I have to show you today. Okay, if you have any questions over this, another something else in another video that I made, if you have suggestions on future videos that I should do, please hit me up in the comments below or in a message. Um, I'm always taking suggestions, always. And um, in general, please comment, rate, subscribe. I like it best. Yeah. All right. That's all I have to say. Peace out, everyone.